Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make this wood grain background here. Um, I had someone ask me if I would show them how to do that, so I would be more than happy to show you how to get that background like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to start out with this texture plate. It's in the number four grouping from Stampin' Up. It's on page 215 in the back of the catalog. You get three plates with this, um, and each plate has a different print on the front and the back. So we're going to use this, looks like wood grain to me, we're going to use this side. We're going to use the Soft Suede Classic Ink Pad, and we're going to use our brayer. And you're going to ink up your brayer, and you want to keep picking up your brayer and running it across the pad instead of just going like this because then you're going to only ink one area. You want to make sure you get good coverage all the way around. So pick it up and wheel it. And then you're going to brayer over the texture plate. And you're going to do this a couple times. It is a black plate, so it's hard to see that the ink is on there, but it is a little shiny. You're not going to see it in the video, but it does give a little shine, so I know it's good and inked. Set that aside. I'm going to come in with the big shot and we're going to have it open to tab one and then what I like to do is I like to take a piece of our cardstock that's in the back of our 12 by 12 designer series paper and I just cut it to fit on top. It just brings it up enough to give me a nice texture. We're going to put our inked plate face up. I have a piece of our crumb cake and I'm going to set that on top. And then our silicone rubber. And our other plate here. And you're going to wheel that through. And it is going to be a little harder, but it will go through. And there you see our wood grain piece of cardstock just by brayering the texture plate. So that's how I got that. Thanks for stopping by.